Hi, everybody. Well, we have arrived in the blistering, big, huge town of Tatamagush, Nova Scotia. <laughs> yeah, it is not a big town, but uh, we've arrived to say goodbye to a few people. So first off, uh, in Tatamagush is my grandmother and my mother are buried near their old house here in Tatamagush. And then about an hour's drive from here in Spring Hill, Nova Scotia is my dad, um, who is uh, passed away in 1984. So he's there with his family. All uh, you'd be like, I was surprised. I was shocked. So. <laughs> I forgot how large the Spring Hill Cemetery is. It's large. So we're trying to find my aunts and my dad in Spring Hill. I have a rough idea where my dad is, but it's expanded since I've been here last. Got our flowers. I'm gonna go pay tribute, but it's a chilly, windy, cold day here in Nova Scotia and a little emotional. I know, I remember when I came here to visit in Spring Hill a while back and lo and behold, there was the Terrace Pharmacy and a Terrace car lot and I go, that's pretty cool because my name is not very, you know, the spelling of my name is not, you don't see it very often. I've never run into another Terrace, um, you know, so it was kind of neat to go and then when I was walking around the Spring Hill Cemetery today, uh, it, there were terraces everywhere, everywhere. I found them all over the cemetery in Spring Hill. Um, and it was kind of, uh, I'm not going to say glad. I, okay, I will say glad. I'm glad that I was able to see relatives. Um, we didn't talk too much about family that way and history of our family and everything when I was growing up because uh, we were the military family part and uh, we moved around a lot where the rest of our family was stationed pretty much you know in Nova Scotia and Spring Hill and Halifax and places like that so when uh, when we finally settled we settled in Ottawa which is you know three provinces away so it was very nice to see all the different stones with our family name on it and very unusual now here's the thing both my sister and i have been to my dad's you know uh, grave before but the great like the cemetery has changed so much they've what used to be where the tree line was is now a whole new section of cemetery and it's expanded and they they've covered in roads so that they could add more family members to certain places and made new roads. And so the whole thing has changed. So by memory, we couldn't find my dad. We were looking everywhere. I walked and walked and walked. I did like 12,000 steps walking through this cemetery, looking at tombstones, looking for my Now I know what it looks like. So I should have been able to pick this out, but it has expanded so much here that I couldn't find it. And both my sister and I were kind of remembering it to be in this one area. We both were envisioning it in this one area. And we so we searched that area even more times than normal. And unfortunately, we, we never did. We never did find it. So I ended up contacting today the, the cemetery uh, funeral home that you know uh, was in charge of having my dad placed in the burial and everything when we sent him down back in 1984 and luckily they were able to tell me that he's in this section section F and I said okay is there anything out there in the cemetery that says this is section F she goes no I said okay give me some kind of landmark I said, I know there's a big, like a tool shed on the way in where you keep all your gardening stuff and everything for 
you know, perpetual care and all that. And they said, okay, well, if you turn in that road and you go all the way to the end, just as it starts to veer up to the right-hand side, uh, he will be on the right-hand side in that area. That's the F3 area. So, okay. At least we now have a ballpark to search. So we're going back tomorrow. Tomorrow is the ceremony for my stepdad, Gary, uh, who was with my mom for 25 years. So that's, you know, uh, he was with her longer than my father was because my father away, passed away early and I was 22 when he passed away. So 22 years with one guy, single for a while, and then 25 years with another. That's a pretty good record. Uh, so, um... Both guys treated my mom exceptionally well. I uh, love my dad. I wish he would have been around a lot longer. Um, and Gary treated my mom and my sister and our family terrific. And we treated him just like, you know, member of the family, obviously. So tomorrow is a ceremony. And we're going to do that in the morning and then drive off to Spring Hill again. And then uh, look for my dad one more time. So I will, uh, I will uh, let you know if, 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 if we're successful or not. Because we definitely were not successful today. Now, the driving down here, I was okay. Although I was getting a little tired on some days. But we drove 11 hours the first day. And today we were up and on the road at 6 a.m. And we got... In, after searching the cemetery and everything, we finally got into Tatamagush at 3.30. So another nine and a half hours of driving around, searching. So, you know, 20 hours in two days, that's a lot for my sister to deal with. That's a lot of sitting. That's a lot of, you know, uncomfortable. And she drove for eight hours the day before to get to Ottawa before we left. And then when we drive home, she's got another eight hours after, you know, we get back to Ottawa to get back to Elliott Lake where her son's heading back and we'll drop her off. So she's going to be in that car. She's going to be really stiff. So I was glad we had an early day today. We had a nice hot meal here at this hotel. It's a very nice little hotel. The food and the little restaurant. I had a hot hamburger sandwich. Haven't had that in a whole, you know, the white with white bread and peas and gravy and beef. It was really good. And the French fries were really, really good. And my sister had fish and chips with sea salt and they were really really good so very surprising little restaurant a little hotel in the middle of a really small town along the coast here in Nova Scotia but the food was excellent so we're looking forward to dinner tomorrow night now uh, hopefully we get back in time after searching through Spring Hill again and hopefully we find my dad's plot because I looked high and low today.